Bonjour, Matarasu. Been on a little fox hunt over on Oni Island, have you? By the looks of it, I'd say you had a rather tough time. Was that wily fox really so formidable? <laughs> Why you... How can you say that? Himiko's dead, you heartless swine! Hmm? Oh, I see. Well, I never expected to see you acting like such a little whelp. After all, Queen Himiko was resigned to her fate. Even you knew that, did you not, Amaterasu? What are you talking about? Anyway, you're the last one on Earth we want to see right now. Now, get out of my face, you two-bit prophet! My, my, what a fabulous mood you're in today. Your anger is enough to cloud the sky. Waka, you control the very fabric of the universe. You could control the weather. <laughs> See, I told you. That thunder is coming from north of Ryoshima coast. It no doubt heralds the coming storm. Well, Mashare, I must bid you adieu. But first, let me leave you with this. A shocking zap and it opens! Phew, feels good to get that one off my chest. And while I'm at it, I, I'll just make a little mark on your map. Okay, I don't know how you did it from the, over there, but you can control the very fabric of the universe so you can do it, Waka. I believe in you. Hey, who said you could do that? Did you not plan on going there anyway, Mashe? You know, in the direction of the evil that sprung from the wily fox's body. Okay, what are you up to this time, pretty boy? <laughs> oh, it feels so good to prophesy after such a long break. Now you see me, now you don't. Au revoir. Waka's so cool! So awesome! He's so awesome, he can control everything! This is cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we defeated Ninetales, the ruler of Oni Island, and the source of all of Ryushima Coast and Seon City's troubles, trials, and evils. This episode... We are not going to be going to the far north like Waka suggested. We are going to be completing side quests because, uh, like most games, when you're supposed to be taking two steps forward, it's really nice to take one step back. So that is what we're going to be doing this episode. We're supposed to be going forward. We're urged on by the game to do so. But if we stick around and explore, we'll find that, that a lot of options have now opened up to us. First off, drawing a circle in the sky. Sorry. Well, I did draw a circle, but drawing the... Game. 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 Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Wait, what are... Oh, it's these guys! Uh... Oh, man, I forgot their name. Ichiro and... Uh... Shigalachika. I don't know. What is your name? What is your name? Don't burrow in. Do not burrow in. You die. And I don't even know what your floral finisher is, so... I'm just going to use this. No, that didn't work. Okay, you guys just die. That was annoying. I think it was Power Slash. I don't know. <sighs> like, I, the game... The game trolled me by was being like, you can draw a circle in the sky. We're not going to... We're not going to limit you on that. But this time, we're going to make it so you magical demon powers of the scrolls get you this time. Uh, you see, I I thought it all up. See, N never mind. Ah, uh, game. So what I was trying to do was say that th things have opened up to us, and you know what? This game just kind of ruined that direct that avenue of speakage that I wanted to go down. So what well, I just want to say: new side quests have opened up. We can get new stray beads. There will be pain this episode. So let's go ahead and go to the shop because that is the mo the most natural decision to take after you know that you're going to be dealing with pain. There. Now I actually want to talk to this guy because if you remember, he was like, uh, "We can sell the Oni Island cupcakes and it'll be fun." Did it? Do you see that? Oni Island vanished in the puff of petals. What an amazing sight. I don't know what it was, but I bet we won't be seeing the island again. The sea off Ryushima coast will go back to normal. Calm again. 
I bet you want to buy some buy something to celebrate, don't you, Pooch? Actually, yes. Uh, I would like to go to the shop first of all to sell off all my goodies because I have a lot of them. Uh, I have a lot of treasures. So wait, wait, wait. We start at thirty uh, three hundred and seventy thousand yen. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're a zooming, zoom, 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 zoom. This is really cool. We got. Wow, we got 50,000 yen from that. That's cool. So what I want to buy are... I want to make sure... Oh, that was good that I, I did this. I want to make sure that I have 10 vengeance slips. Though I think I'll get three? No, I'll get two. I want to I make sure I have over 10 vengeance slips. Uh, you do too. And then I want to make sure that I have more than 10 steel fisake. It's preferably... That many, however many that 15, yeah. Uh, holy bones, I don't need. Uh, exorcist, no, I'm good. Um, yeah, uh, just make sure. I just want to make sure one last time. Bench slips, okay. I'm actually going to buy one more of these. Okay, why did I do this for the for the pain that I mentioned last episode and and in this? Um, we're going to be going around doing a ton of side quests, and this is the first one that we can do. It's not really a side quest, but. It's something that is now opened up to us. So, I want to jump on Orca because he's still here. Man, I can get that jump like every time now. You two are amazing. I've seen about I've seen about all this vast sea there is to see, but I've never met such courageous heroes who are such poor swimmers. The Dragon King is no doubt having a good laugh deep under the sea. You hear that, Ami? Yes, I do. That was half a compliment at least. Give us swimming lessons sometime now that we're now that the sea's at peace again. Right, and Orca, yes. Hi ho, Orca away. Heidi ho, neighbor. <laughs> okay. Um. So where we want to go is with the big map. There we are. You want to go for the middle island of that cluster in the west. So yeah, you're gonna. You, if you guys have a good memory of stuff that happened ep multiple episodes ago, you will know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm doing that. But for those of you who don't know, you're about to find out because we are at the island. Yay! We're going to go on adventure. Yeah! Why is it that whenever I'm trying to do a bit, the game is like, nope, denied. Okay, so we're actually going to be going back into the hole from whence we fought the uh, the bandit spider. Why? Why are you asking? Why am I doing this? Because I did check earlier and there was no Devilgate Trial Cave here. Hint, hint, I'm mentioning Devilgate Trial Cave, which means I'm probably going to be doing such a thing. Um, <laughs> to be repetitive, the Devilgate Trial Cave is in here now. Uh, it would not it would not open, it will not open until after you've cleared out Oni Island and uh, defeated Ninetales. So now that that is done, there is a new source of evil in this cave for whatever reason. It's hiding, I guess. It's probably, probably all monsters that swam off Oni Island as it drifted off into the ne the Never Neverlands, and now they're all in here. So we have to be Mr. or Mrs. Miss Exterminator. Uh, but first, before we do that, I would like to equip some items. Also. Hopefully, I'm really hoping this is the case, you will notice that I'm no longer putting that weird reverse moonside-esque filter on my menus. Hopefully this is the case. If it's not, I apologize for going down this weird tangent. Uh, yeah, um, so I, I looked back at the episodes, and I want to equip this, I looked back at the episodes that um, had me tagged by a content ID, and I realized that I... I if I remember right, none of them were in menus. They were all in loading screens. But when I started being tagged by Content ID, I just panicked thinking that they encount they inputted pretty much everything into the system. And so I kind of just blacked out everything. Hopefully this is the case. If if this is blacked out, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, I think that I will be able to show menus now. Um, I was before, but I just kind of... <laughs> I just kind of took went to extremes to make sure I, I got money. The little money that I get from this channel. I won't go into that. Um, so, yeah, we have the Blade of Kusanagi, our new reflector, uh, not a reflector, glaive. A tier 3 glaive, so now I can no longer feel guilty about using glaives. I kind of did before because we've had, we've literally had a tier 3 weapon, um, the Infinity Judge, since Kusa Village. And, you know, the first glaive we got was after defeating Oltree and it's tier 1, so I felt, 
I felt guilty about using them, but I can't. I don't have to do that any longer because we have tier three. So yeah, I can't actually zoom in because the camera's not letting me. So I will do it in here. So let's let's jump in here before I waste too much more time. Okay, there is the accursed gate, and now that we are in this small room, let me look at this weapon. It's pretty sweet. It's actually in two pieces, and there's like wind floating through it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I forgot to use gold dust on this, which would be really helpful. So now it is upgraded. It's really neat how if you if you go for 100%, you get items as you need them. You know, you get you always have that gold dust to upgrade your weapon, and that's really nice. Okay, um, so here's what here's how this is going to work. I'm going to be speeding up while we are in this this demon gate. You'll still be able to see the the uh, enemies we have to face. But, since there are no new enemies, you know, I don't really have to show them, and this will not be a 40-minute episode, at least because of the, the, the Devil Gate Trial Cave. So, I will be speeding that up, but while I do that, I will actually be explaining a couple of references to mythology. So, yeah, um, another thing is, this gives, the Devil Gate Trial Caves, I found out, give so much money, that it's actually still worth your while to use um, expensive battle items in the the gate because you'll be getting better rankings and the money will will be many times greater than the money you spent on this venture so what you should do is buy at least 10 ven vengeance slips because there are 10 battles in these and at least 10 uh, steel fist sakes so you can always have that invincibility, you can always have to be doing extra damage, and the money you get from these will still outshine that. Now, I've kind of mentioned how I, f I feel a little bit cheap using Vengeance Slips, um, but this is definitely an exception. I won't be use I don't like using them during battles, but for this, since it's not required, it's, <laughs> it's very repetitive, uh, Vengeance Slips will help that go by much faster. Also, all of the enemies inside of these things uh, are are beefed up. They're buffed to to Manland, aka Home Depot, and back. So, yeah, I don't feel OP about doing this because the enemies are OP. So, with that out of the way, let's go inside and see what horrors await. Okay, let's go in. Okay, what I wanted to explain is what the what reference the three uh, weapon types of Okami are. They are at, okay. Uh, we should first look at the three classes of weapons: reflector, rosary, and then glaive. So there are three types of weapons, and they actually correspond to something that, first of all, exists in real life. It's not just a story, and it exists in, in mythology and fiction, which is really sweet. Well, some people don't see it as fiction, so sorry if I offended you. But uh, yeah, this this actually exists in both realms, fiction and non-fiction which is really quite quite cool. Uh, the reference that these, these weapons make are of the Three Sacred Treasures of Japan, or the Three Sacred Re Regalia. Um, these are referenced in quite a few games. Uh, Fire Emblem, I personally believe Zelda, because I'll, I'll go into that in a second. Um, so the three weapons, uh, or Regalia, of Japan are, is a mirror, Yata no Kogami, a jewel, uh, Yasakani no Megatama, and finally, a sword called Kusanagi. I could have explained this reference as soon as we got a glaive, as soon as we got, you know, the three tier, the three classes of weapons. But I wanted to wait until we got the blade of Kusanagi, so that it would mean it would mean a little bit more for me to be explaining this. So these these three treasures of Japan, you know, only one of them is a weapon. It is the sword. But the other ones are translated into this game. They're translated in other games too. Uh, Fire Emblem, you have the three regalia: the spear, the um, the let's see, the spear, the bow. It's not a mirror, but it's a bow, and a sword. Three regalia. And then in Zelda, I personally believe the mirror shield, mirror, and um, the the sword, the master sword, are references to the two, uh, two of the three. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a third one in there. I don't really see how, how the jewel could make its way in there, but there are, there are many ways to see how that that could be translated into the game. Uh, so that that's pretty cool. Um, these actually are said to exist now. Not many people have seen them, 
and when they are seen, they are in packages. But they are said to exist now, and in certain locations, uh, I believe in Japan. So that's really neat. But in the legend, that's also where you get to see the ties in between s the story and this game. So in legend, these treasures were brought to, J to Japan by uh, Nanigi no Mikoto, who is an ancestor of the um, Japanese imperial line. And his grandmother was a Matarasu, and she sent him to pacify Japan. Um, in, in traditional sense, uh, these were a, a these were proof of the emperor's divinity and um, a claim to his leadership and a claim to uh, and his claim to be a a descendant of a Matarasu. And even further, these had direct ties with the Matarasu. It, they weren't just things that were in possession of someone she she sent to Japan. Um, even further in legend, this is where Susano comes in as well. Um, in legend, Amaterasu hidden a cave from her brother Susano after a conflict where they where they argued who could make more people, and Susano took Amaterasu's necklace or the sto the the stone, and he used it to win their little contest. And Amaterasu then hid in a cave. But because she was the sun goddess, the sun also went away, shrouding the land in darkness. So, Susano and the other divines um, decided to try and lure her out. Um, in, the, in the story, a goddess by the name of Ame no Uzume hung the mirror and jewels outside the cave and lured her out. At which point, Amaterasu saw her own reflection was, and was startled enough that, the, that those divines could pull her out of the cave. Susano, who in the story goes by Susanu, uh, then gave the sword Kusanagi to Matarasu as a token of his apology. And he had, he had obtained it from Yamata no Orochi. Now in the game, we see we see Kusanagi, we see Susano, we see Orochi, but we don't see them in that order. Um, Susano does not get the, the sword from Orochi. However, you do get a sword from from Orochi, you get su uh, Sumigami. I believe you get yeah, you get Sumigami from um, from Orochi. So that's another that is a very good tie-in. Um, now we got Kusanagi from Nine Tails, which brings me to discuss Nine Tails, or uh, a little bit further, Rao herself. In the story, Tamama no Mei was very beautiful, and despite her very youthful and uh, vivid appearance, she was very knowledgeable about everything. She had a lot of wisdom and was very intelligent. Uh, one day, the emperor fell ill, and after some investigation, it was discovered that Tamama no Mei had poisoned him. And then it was it they found that she was an evil Kitsune, which in in Japanese culture, uh, Kitsune are basically foxes that can turn into people. They were usually guardians of other people, or they were either ext they, in in the culture they were either extremely good, ex ex extremely benevolent, or extremely extremely malevolent. There was no middle line with Kitsune. Um, and actually, <laughs> there, she's referenced in League, League of Legends through Ari. You can just read the lore. <laughs> Um, and then she was hunted down and slain. And in the game, you, we see Rao, who was young and very beautiful. I'll be the first one to say that. And she was very knowledgeable about a lot of things. And also, one of her cohorts, Blight, tried to kill the, the Emperor by poisoning him. And so that is how those references tie together. It's really cool! Um, a lot of the story of this game, in fact, pretty much all of the story of this game, was written around mythology, and I, I highly doubt this will be the last time we'll be discussing how this game ties into the mythology. So, with that, we should be done by the battles, or at least very close, uh, so I'll actually go back to live commentary. Let's, let's, uh, let's do it.
Yes! What? Well, please tell me that was the last. Oh, it was the last one! Yes! Yes! Finally! Oh my word! I've been recording, I'm not even exaggerating, for an hour and 17 minutes! An hour and 17 minutes, and you guys probably saw it go by in maybe five minutes? If that, and we get a stray bead for an hour and 17 minutes. And I'm calling it right now, this episode is going to come out late. Probably because, oh my word. You know what? This calls for... Black speech here. <sighs> you know what? I actually can't record the rest of this episode today. <laughs> so I'll actually cut, and when I when I cut, it will be me tomorrow because me tonight has far too little patience right now and uh, thank you uh, i'm not even thank you gonna thank you guys so much for watching because the episode for you isn't over uh but you know what i'll see you in a sec that is a lot better a day after me originally recording the first half of this episode and i feel so much better those painful memories have now faded into the distant past. The only reminder being of the fact being the fact that the Devil Gate is actually still here. I didn't really get to go over this with the first Devil Gate Trial Cave, but I will go over it now. After you beat it, the Devil Gate will actually stay here indefinitely, so you can actually infinitely grind on upgraded enemies if that's something you're into. Honestly, the money you get from doing the exploit where you just buy all these awesome OP items and use them on on the Devil Gate will give you enough money. I started this with I think 30 no, 380,000 yen and I ended this with four uh sorry, with 7,000 747,000 yen. So I I gained I gained roughly 300,000 yen from that and that's actually not the maximum that you can get because I ran out of items uh, you can actually uh, I missed out on some of the good ratings of some of the battles so if you perfect every single every single battle I believe that it will give you uh, 500,000 yen I'm pretty sure it does uh, if not then I'll put on screen the actual amount that it gives you because I found a site that actually tracked that um, yeah, that that brings that brings up a point I should I should mention. Uh, I should have bought I, I should really should have bought more items for this. I I should have purchased more vengeance slips, more steel fasakes, and possibly uh, a lot more exorcism slip S's. Sometimes they really help, even though they deal hardly any damage. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have, I have to say about this room. I would like to re-equip the Blade of Kusanagi and the Exorcism Beads as my sub, and then we can proceed on to the next Stray Bead. Okay, the next Stray Bead uh, is located in the Dragon Palace, so you want to hop on our very nifty ride here, and cruise on over to the Dragon Palace. Uh, there's something I would like to bring up, though I will wait until we get inside the actual area. The problem it met with was right here. I was kind of expecting it to do the same exact thing. Um, when you play this game, if you guys decide that this game is worth purchasing, the, uh, you, um, which I highly, highly say that it is, um, if you do buy this, there's one thing that you should do always. Save. Save always. If you see an origin mirror, use it. Don't think you'll save the next one. Use every single origin mirror you see. You know why? Because this game has the tendency every now and again to freeze. It does so more at, in certain parts than others. Um, for example, after doing the Devil Gate Trial Caves, it has a tendency to freeze. Um, there's a certain part of the game coming up that I will point out that apparently it's known for freezing very, very commonly. I believe I've dealt with that once. Um, and I have a very painful memory of this. 
in the last Double Gate Trial Cave of this game, I had I had done it after collecting roughly 30 stray beads. Yes, you heard that right, 30. What I had done is I had gone on a spree because I was trying to 100% the game before I finished it. And so I went from stray bead to stray bead, just using a guide, and I got about 30. And then I attempted the last Double Gate Trial Cave. Um, I It was getting really late by the time I was halfway done with it, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to to leave the game on pause until the next day. And when I did that, I went back and started playing. I finished that, and literally, I was right next to an origin mirror, going to save, and the game froze on me. And I lost two days of pro progress, and yeah, it was not fun. Uh, I, I had serious thoughts of quitting the game, like permanently after that. But I pulled through and I ended up actually 100%ing it and playing it for you guys today. But the point is, is if I were playing Skyward Sword and I left it on overnight, I mean, there is a chance that it would freeze, but the chance would not be as great as in this game. Sometimes this game will freeze for no reason, in the example of the failed take of the second half of, half of the episode where I had literally just turned- I need to stop saying literally. I had turned on the Wii, it had been on for nine minutes, it's not like I left it on overnight, and uh, it still- it still froze nine minutes in. So I just want to warn you guys that it will freeze from time to time. So uh, what I wanted to- the stray bead I wanted to collect is actually up the elevator, although I, I feel like we should talk to the security guard. She looks- she looks pretty neat, she's blue and she- I mean, the trident, I don't really care for. It kind of looks a little bit lame, but all in all, her character design is very cool. We haven't seen you in, for ages. What have you been up to? Everyone here has been talking about you. That's that's nice. You're, you're nice, except for the pitchfork. I don't like the pitchfork. It's kind of ugly. That actually kind of makes me think. You know how most of the... Actually, most, if not all, of the Dragonians wear hats? Could you picture if you lived underwater, like you could, <laughs> you couldn't brush your hair? That'd be really strange. You couldn't brush your hair because it would be, it would be ballooning and jellyfishing out everywhere, which would actually be, that would actually look pretty neat. Okay, so what we want to do is talk to Himiko. You remember she was grieving uh, the loss of her husband, and she went through a lot. She was hit really hard by this, all by all of this stuff. <laughs> Why, Matarasu, it's so good to see you. What tidings do you bring? You okay, babe? I mean, that was one, uh, one feat you pulled off. You had me worried. I had no choice but to f perform the rite of transformation. Such traditions are normally reserved for kings. But the people of our realm have accepted me as their ruler. Henceforth, I devote my life to protecting our people and the sea. All hail Queen... Queen Oto? Queen Oto! We shall follow wherever Her Majesty leads. Glory to the Gr Dragonians! That's interesting. They call her Queen Oto, not Otohime. Huh. Amaterasu, there is something more I wish to tell you. I carry the child of my dearly departed husband, King Wada. I have every hope our child shall grow up to be a fine leader. And maybe, someday, even King or Queen of the Dragonians. We Dragonians shall protect the sea for all eternity. I'll hail Queen Oto, we shall do stuff. We'll do stuff, yay! I know I, I know not how I shall ever thank you for what you have done. This could never begin to repay my debt to you, but please accept it as a token of my eternal gratitude. And she gives us a stray bead! So you talk to her after defeating Ninetales, and she will reward you for talking to her with a stray bead. Now, there's one more stray bead that we have to collect in the Dragon Palace, sort of. Uh, we now actually have all of the all of the stray beads for the Dragon Palace, but there is the means to get one more in this area. Now, this one's a little bit strange. It's it's slightly strange because I don't know where this is. I actually do not know. So I will have to be doing a little bit of exploring to find uh, the means at which to get whatever it is we're trying to find. Is it in here? Uh, this is covered up now. I'm not sure if we can restore this. 
It looks like we can, actually. Yes, we can, okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm pretty sure, actually, yeah, I think I just stumbled across uh, the thing we're tr I'm trying to find. So by restoring this with, I don't even, I, I can't, I can never tell if it's rejuvenation or, uh, or, or bloom. But anyway, by, re by restoring that, we get, yes, this is actually the thing we're looking for. We get the treasure box. Secret treasure of the Dragon Palace. Opening it would bring disaster. Huh. Interesting. Uh, there's one person that we should bring this to. And he is, uh, he is actually on North Rizuma Coast. So I'll, I will, I guess I could warp back there. Huh? That box you're carrying. Isn't that the treasure box? You know it contains the gasps of mermaids. It's found at the base of, of, of the millennia coral that takes seed but once in a thousand years, and it grows heavier with each mermaid death. One leaked gasp is enough is said to bring an, on old age in an instant. But that's an old legend. No one knows if any of it's true. Interesting. So we have the treasure box, which is said to spell certain doom for anyone who opens it. Uh, I guess we could <laughs> bring it to Waka. Or we could just bring it to the Dragon Palace and do what we're supposed to do with it. It's actually a pretty, pretty uh, cool weapon, I guess. It could be used as a weapon. And we want to bring it to the, m the unlikeliest of people. We want to bring it to... Let me show you. No, not that way. This way. This way. Actually, you know what? For, for grins and giggles, we're go we'll go to the rocky area. Okay, uh, now that we're here, and w I lost my double jump for whatever reason, now that we're here, no, now that we're here, we need to go over here and go to Urashima. Yes, Urashima is the person we are going to be giving this to. I have no idea, is he, is he in his normal spot? No, he is not. He has moved now that we have the box. He's hiding from us. Let's track him down. Is he home? Yes, indeed he is. Urashima, what's up, bro? There you are, pooch. Looking pleased with yourself, huh? But never mind that. You know that demon island out in the sea? It disappeared in a cloud of petals right before my very eyes. And the water dragons calmed down, too. Something good good is about to happen. I'm sure of it. Okay. Howdy there, Pooch. Y'all make it to the Dragon Palace? I reckon you're as pleased as a tick in, in a dog pound now that that awful demon island, uh, demon island done gone away, huh? You offered, for whatever reason, treasure box. Hey, buddy. You, I'm happy for you. Take this thing that will spell certain doom upon you and your family. <laughs> well, I'll be. If it ain't that treasure box I've been looking for. Apparently he's been looking for a tr the treasure box. I, I think I must have miss missed that cue. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Th that time I drowned, they revived me at the Dragon Palace, see? That's why I'm stuck in a body that just won't get any older. I'll always look like a youngin, forever and ever. Meanwhile, everyone around me is getting older and older. But with this treasure box, I can I reckon I can return to normal. <coughs> well, how do I look? Honey, is that really you? It sure is. Your husband's back. Oh, it's so happy that they were using animation from things. You're back. You've finally come back to me. And I'm here to stay. I ain't going nowhere. I'll never leave you again, dear. Aww. That's cute. I don't know how I can ever thank you enough, but I want I want y'all to have this. It ain't much, just a token. I found this pretty pretty stone on the seabed. It brought me luck, see? You obtained stray bead. So wait, what is he is he holding <laughs> Is he holding an axe? <laughs> Leave it to me to ruin a moment, but is he holding an axe? I, I I hope so. I really hope so. You're back. You finally come back to me. And I'm here to stay. I ain't going nowhere. I'll never leave you again, dear. <clears throat> In a tender moment, Amaterasu bites them. Mwah. 
Are they gonna hug again? Are they? I'm really curious. Oh, they're gonna do the animation again. Okay. Uh, what about this? Boom. Hey, I was enjoying an emotional moment there. Can't. <laughs> can't you see they want to be alone for a while? Wait. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. You guys see this? That's cool. Um. They actually didn't model the wall behind us because it would always be um, a w a lo being looked through by the camera. But by doing that, you can actually see that the wall is solid black. Cool. Can we do it to her? I'm I, I'm kind of milking this moment a little bit too much. Ouch. But I was just curious. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, and I believe... Yes, indeed, we have gotten every single stray bead in North Ryoshima Coast and the Dragon Palace. We are going to be heading next episode to, um, to Seon City and Ryoshima Coast. I believe there are more stray beads to be had in Ryoshima Coast. Uh, pardon me as I look. Yes, there are. Okay. Uh, no, there aren't. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, there are. There is one. Okay. So there are actually stray beads everywhere that have uh, that are now able to be collected because Nine Tails has been defeated. So we will be doing that before we head to the far north. Uh, there will be quite a few episodes of us doing this, so don't really expect much, much story progress uh, in the next couple of episodes. But expect a lot of side quests, a lot of cool uh, cool stuff to be found, a lot of new abilities to be had. So, I will see you next time on Pal Plays Okami. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. Cream soda. Uh, <laughs> I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. Oh, uh, just as a little bit of expansion, elaboration on what we're going to be getting, we're going to be getting new items. Stray beads, praise, and more. 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 <clears throat> Bye, guys.